Hello and welcome, Paul here, and I'm playing Floris, a mod for Matt and Blade Warband. Now, if you joined me last time, we attacked Tyr, and after we captured the city, I awarded... Well, I say I. I suggested to the king that, uh, that we award it to the other lord in our service, so we've done that. And what I'm going to go do now is obtain a few more troops to come put in this castle just so the enemy will stay away. Now, I've got two choices to make here. Who do I put in the castle? Do I put in num do I go for numbers or do I go for strong troops? Now I've got a whole bunch of strong troops, which is good, of course. But the question is, is do I take them out of my castle? Now taking some of them out would lower the uh, the wages I have to pay weekly, but it's gonna weaken my castle a little bit, which I consider a lot more important. In fact. I'm kind of regretting now not taking Tyr, and this is the reason. It's because Sargoth is a city that I probably want to give to my king. And if I'd have had Tyr, I'd have been next to it, so I could help out and so on. Wurcheg's okay, but it's kind of like round the back. But we'll see, I'm not too fussed. Sunnah's fine with me, to be fair. It makes little difference in the grand scheme of things. So... I'm going to go to Sunno, I'm going to take out who I can. So, as I said, let's, first of all, how many people do we have here? Sunno has 867 troops, okay. So I want to go to the garrison and I want to rem remove people, first of all. Now, I don't need sea raiders, I don't need scouts, we can remove them. Who else can I get rid of? We've got a lot of level 1 people, maybe I should take them out. Maybe take out all the low levels. Probably won't affect my wages much, but... Fucking just free up some space, you know what I mean? It still affects it, but not as badly. So I'm gonna ferry these guys over to Tyr. And hopefully this will help. In fact, oh, I'm probably just leveled on the way, so I can actually upgrade some of these troops before I hand them over. I've got money waiting for me. I haven't collected my wage, uh, my uh, assets from Tulka in a long time, so that's waiting for me. That's good news. I've got money in Sunno and money in Sargoth. I've just been letting it build up, so that is quite nice. I do have... I only got 2,000 uh, gold on me at the moment, so... I probably could do with collecting it. Maybe I'll go hit Sargoth next, actually. Okay, so first of all, let's upgrade these troops. We'll give them archers, why not? Also, the other good thing is if this lord is here, he's going to be running scouts and stuff, which will be a huge help. Alright, so he's my medic. That's good news. I can upgrade all the medic skills in one go. We're going to need them. As well, drop the points in here. Might hook him up with a crossbow, can't hurt. Okay, I probably could do with getting more to place in tier, but I'll do that later. Right now, I want to go to Sargoth and collect my, my money. Because if all of a sudden I have to pay for anything, I'm going to be in trouble. Now we definitely want to keep the pressure up on the enemy, so... Okay. I bet they're travelling the tier, aren't they? Alright, first things first, collect my money. And then... I'll see if I've got enough time to... 
See if I've got enough time to make my way back to uh, Sunno and grab whatever troops I can. So what I'm going to have to do here is just try and... If I can just defeat one of these guys, I can then grab their sword and shield. Just need to take out one. There we go. I could probably take out the rest, to be fair, with the front knives. They are pretty easy to use. Use aim for the feet. Two hits actually kill someone. in time once I have a sword, so... Okay, that was good. I took little to no damage. I've collected my money. Good, good, good. I could probably do with buying more land here, but right now, I think, uh... It's more important I worry about Tia. Damn. I gotta let him pass. If I don't, they're gonna surround me and beat me. Oh, crap. Can I sneak by? I can't go that way. If I go that way, I'm li most likely to be trapped. I'm pretty sure they're going for tier. So I have to make a decision. Do I go straight to tier and defend? Who are these guys? Is this a patrol? Oh, I thought it was a uh, caravan. Okay. Well, in that case, we'll have to beat these guys quickly. That's fine. We need the XP for my troops. Uh, how does the train? Trains, yeah. Not great. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Christ, we're already up on us. Alright. These guys actually aren't so high level. If I can keep these guys busy, let my archers get in position. I've got my troops too close, I could have had them hang back, but a bit like that to worry. My bowmen are doing the deed, that's the important thing. Alright, I need to get off. There we go. around him. Okay, battles won, minimal casualties, good, good, good. Let us move on. I probably have enough time to go to Tyr to get more reinforcements and then head back to the castle, so I may do that. I think that's going to be my task. Let's have a quick look. Can we make it to Sunno? Can we make it to Sunno? Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa! Dangerous! Okay, let me upgrade my troops just in case I do get pulled into a fight. I've got no infantry at the moment, that's not good. I wasn't really paying attention, I suppose. Wasn't really paying attention. Okay, we upgrade a strength, increase a power strike. Probably give her a horse, maybe? Okay. I am faster ever so slightly. Let's see if we can make it over to Sunno. I don't know if these two are at war. I could check, but... No, they're not. He'd run away if they were. It looks like he might be coming over here to uh, harass my towns, but... Alright, let's move up. I need some more units of food. Let's go to the marketplace, see what we've got. Cheap bread, cheap bread, cheap bread. We need that. Fine bread. Oof. 
Spending a bit too much money on him, but uh, can't be helped. Did I just see? No, I did not. Never mind. So what we need to do now is go to the garrison, and I need troops. Now I could take the hide blades, but I've been saving those for a rainy day. I could take. I need to take some infantry that are actually fairly leveled, but they're not super great. I mean, we got a hundred. We got over a hundred swordsmen. That's probably not a bad idea. If I had more archers, it would def well. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. So let's take as many mercenary swordsmen as I could, or as I can. So the thing is, if I take the mercenary swordsmen, I don't give them chance for leveling. Whereas if I take the hired blades, they're already leveled. So and my castle's definitely going to be strong enough to repel the enemy. Okay, so we'll take the hired blades. I'll, I'll invest it in our new Nord Kingdom. So if I invest these hired blades into my allies' keep, hopefully they will keep them safe. And the mercenary swordsman, I'll take as many as I can. And we'll keep some of them, and then the rest will be sent to the castle. We need to get over there now though. Time is of the essence. I need to buy more food. They just made peace. I guess they were at war. I'm just surprised he didn't run off when they came. That is quite odd. They don't appear to be laying siege to Tyr, so that is good news. Good news indeed. Let's go buy some food first of all. Okay, so we want to give some troops to the garrison, and as I said, I won't have to pay for this. I can't take anyone out, but that's fine. You know what? I'm going to keep these mercenary swordsmen. We're going to go ahead and get them leveled up, I think. Seems like a solid choice. We've got 332 people here. A ton of hired blades. Can I actually recruit anyone from the tavern? It doesn't hurt to do that. As long as the prices are cheap. But, uh, nine for... Okay, so this will give me like another 20 troops for just under 2,000 gold. That's not bad at all. And I'll actually give them to uh, Tyr. Because the only way we're going to win this war is if, if we capture their territory. And if we can just take a few more cities and stuff and castles then when I go when I approach the enemy lords I actually have a better chance of convincing them to come join us because we've got all this territory so it's gonna be a huge help plus I can also recruit some regular peasants here and we can go ahead and level them up a little bit and then stick them in here just to ensure we can hold it the good thing is is that if these guys start sending out oh dear If these guys can start sending out uh, patrols and stuff, just harass the enemy a little bit in this area, this that would be very good indeed. A lot of enemies though here. I could do with taking Hyrus Castle, but I don't particularly want to be responsible for holding it. So we may just leave it for the moment. I'm more interested in cities. More interested in cities. Probably wouldn't hurt if I looked to get another boat. I just can't afford it right now. I spent spent a lot of money on boats thinking about it. Fifty thousand for a ship. I've had two ships so far. Yikes. So what I could do is buy some land. Didn't really want to waste all my money here, but Buying an existing acre of land costs 540 dinars. So land is cheap right now. I could get like a... Let's go ahead. That's pretty cheap. And the way I see it, I invest now. So when the prices do go up, when trade picks up, you know, it's not going to hurt. So what I would like to do now is... Go to the marketplace. Oh, I already sold everything I had. I could do with making some more money. Maybe we'll hunt down some 
bandits and rescue prisoners and take some prisoners and so on. Taste says 340, it still needs a lot more people. I might just go around and recruit who I can. Whoa. Well, here we go. This is one way to get uh, people to fill the... Can I catch up to these? Yes, I can. So we rescue some of these prisoners, put them straight into tier. Try, I want to try and get the uh, defenders up to at least 500. 400 would probably be safe, but 500 just to ensure it. Probably won't hurt. Oh. Guys, hold this position quickly before the enemy gets to us. I should have had them hold back sooner. Fire at will. I'll keep them busy. That is a beautiful sight, that wall of archers. <laughs> I like it. Where's my horse? <laughs> this barrels through my troops, sorry about that. Damn, they escaped. Oh well. Better tend to my troops that have concussion now. Okay, this is what we wanted. I guess I'll go for the highest level people as per normal. Mercenary swordsman. Probably wouldn't hurt if I take some more archers, just because. And I could fill the rest up with manhunters, perhaps. Yeah, there we go. Seems like a solid plan. Okay. We now want to make our way back to Tyr. We'll put these troops in there. Okay, I'm going to need to head back to my territory soon though. I'm getting harassed. Okay, so I've got us a bunch of people. Let's go ahead and plop them in there. As I said, this is an investment to the future of the Nord, the Kingdom of Nords. I suppose technically it's the Nord Rebellion right now, but we are the true Nords. The only problem is when these guys betray us and I have to come fighting through 51 hired blades and all that. That will be a little bit of a pain, but uh, we'll manage, we'll manage. They already have 58 mercenary swordsmen, I could just go ahead and give them the ones I've got. Yeah, I'll do that, it's not going to hurt. That puts tier at 422. I'm going to say it's safe for now, I'll continue to recruit people. And again, a lot of them appear to be converging here. Could just be a coincidence. We'll see. But ha having tier is pretty important. Our next goal... Well, we'll see. I could do a talking to some of the, the lords of the Nord Kingdom of Nords and see if I can actually get them to join us. 
See if I can convince them now that we actually have some land. Let's have a look. Nord Rebels. We still only have me and this other guy, so... It's tricky, it's tricky. It's like, I need to give land to left wing. I just don't understand. If I give land to left wing, does, you know, does he actually have... Well, would he send patrols out and stuff? Would he do that? Or would that be up to me? Because I'd give him Sargoth if that was the case, but if it turns out he doesn't, then perhaps I should take it for myself. I'll test it anyway. Maybe we'll put some pressure on the Nord capital. Seems like a solid plan. Don't know how many defenders they have, but we'll manage. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you for watching, and be sure to join me next time. Until then.